Hi guys, this is Misty from The Book Rat, and this reading is for the Splash into Summer event on a Backward Story. I'm going to be reading from Dreamland Social Club by Tara Altabrando. It follows Jane, who has just moved with her father and brother to a house she inherited from her grandparents on Coney Island. Jane lost her mother when she was six, so being in her mother's house is uncovering a lot of the past for her and letting her get to know her mother. She always knew that her mom had a bit of a thing for mermaids, but being in the house on Coney, she finds out that her mom actually wanted to be a mermaid and went to a mermaid camp. So there's a theme of mermaids running throughout the book. Um, the piece I'm going to read for you, Jane is at a club that has an aquarium on one wall, and she's about to watch mermaid auditions. So, Jane Lynn Social Club. The club was packed, mostly with women in bikinis, so Jane shrunk her shoulders and slid through until she was right up behind the people sitting at the bar, right near the tanks. In front of her, a pair of twin girls swiveled on bar stools. Mom is up first, one of them said, and their small bodies seemed to vibrate with anticipation. Jane felt that way too, buzzing, buzzed. She looked around for Leo, but couldn't see past the people nearest her, and really, she didn't feel like dealing with him right then anyway. When the first mermaid drifted down into the tank, the fish darted away in a sudden bolt. The crowd let out a collective gasp, and she was there, a beautiful brunette who was waving and smiling, which had to be hard, in a pink and red polka dot bikini. Was smiling underwater something they taught you how to do at mermaid camp? Had all of these women who were auditioning been to camp, or did Beth run her own? Was Jane too old to go? Between mermaids, she studied the glass, looking for the starfish she'd seen, and finally found it stuck to the side of the treasure chest of jewels. For a second, she thought the journal had to be in there, but then she remembered the club hadn't even been around then. Jane knew that sea stars could grow new limbs when they were hurt, and as she watched mermaid after mermaid take their quick turn in the tank, she wondered if maybe she was starting to regenerate missing parts in her own way, too. It was sort of heartbreaking how unmermaidy some of the women were. They were old and misshapen, or had straggly hair or wrinkled bellies. But they all got their turn, and sometimes there were surprises. Like right at the end when the skinny old woman with the long white ponytail got in the tank in her black one-piece suit and let her hair loose and swam like she was putting on a mermaid show for real, waving and pretending to be having tea with a blowfish that seemed drawn to the sheen of her floating white hair. Jane would have hired her in a heartbeat. That's Dreamland Social Club by Tara Alderon.